channel and I have a super awesome mind-blowing exciting video for you guys today I'm gonna to be showing you some DIYs for your school supplies not only are these super awesome they're cute easy to do fun to do and they're so original like you're gonna be walking into school and all your friends are gonna be like where did you get that notebook I didn't see that at Target and you'll be able to say I made it myself it would be much cooler than that Another thing that makes this super exciting is that it's a giveaway! Boop, 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 boop. So I'll be choosing three people to win three of the DIYs that I made in this video. You'll have to stay tuned to the end of the video to hear more about the giveaway. So let's get right into the video! For this first DIY, you'll need a spiral notebook, some ribbon, and scissors. So just take the ribbon and start cutting three inch pieces of ribbon. Once you have enough assorted ribbon, just take the ribbon and feed it through each spiral and just tie it into a simple knot one time and just do it all along the side until it's finished. For this next DIY, you'll need a book, some hair ties, a pair of scissors, a ruler, a pencil, and a patterned paper of your choice. If your hair ties have the gold fasteners on it, you can cut those off because you won't need them. After this, just start tying them together in a simple knot in whatever pattern you would like. And just cut off all the excess from the knots to make it neater. On the back of your pattern paper, use the ruler to draw out a pentagon and each side of the pentagon will be one inch long. Once you've finished, just start cutting it out and then make half inch slits on the front and cut those out but not all the way so that they make little slots and it should look like this. And now just take your hair ties and feed it through the slots and then tie it up at the end. And now you have this really cute bookmark to put around your book that also stretches to fit any book and you can move it around so that you can place it wherever you left off. For this next DIY, you'll need a composition book, some copy paper, paint, glue or tape, a paintbrush, some water, and a straw. So all you have to do is put glue on the front of your composition book and then place a piece of paper on top of it. Just fold the excess over into the inside of the book and glue or tape it down. So get a container and just put a little bit of whatever paint color you want and follow it with only a little bit of water. Too much water will cause it to get watery and it won't turn out right. Start by taking your paintbrush and putting a puddle of paint somewhere on your notebook and then take the straw and blow away at the paint before it dries and it will have this really cool runny effect. And you can follow the same technique with more colors. For this next DIY, you'll need a calculator and its case, a pencil, some scissors, glue, patterned paper, and a sponge brush. Start by taking the shell or case of the calculator and tracing it onto your patterned paper. And then cut it out neatly and exactly. Then put glue all over the case of the calculator and press down on the piece of paper. So that is all you have to do, but to make it more customizable for me, I just decided to draw this N in a really pretty font so that everyone knows it's mine and how beautiful it is. I'm a slave to your it's giveaway time! Just remember that these are the three items that I'm giving away and here are the rules. First, you have to be subscribed to me because this is for all my subscribers who are going back to school. Second, you have to click that thumbs up button 
on this video wherever it is on your screen so make sure to hit that button third you have to follow me on instagram at nylaraxx it will be on the screen and the link to it will also be in the description box down below and fourth you have to come back to this video and comment down your username and also comment a question for my q a hashtag ask nyla that is it. This video will be up on August 12th, and that is the start. And then the cutoff deadline date will be August 26th, which is a Friday, which is one of my normal uploading days. So I'll be uploading a normal video, and I'll also be reminding you that 11.59 on the 26th is the cutoff. On the 30th, which is the following Tuesday, my one of my uploading days, I will be uploading the giveaway winners. Remember that there will be three winners winning three notebooks. The first winner gets to choose out of the three, and the second winner gets to choose out of the two that's left, and the third winner gets the last book. So that is it for this video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to enter, and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.